Haru took him out? Haru to oh my god, he's not gonna be happy about that. Hey guys, it's Selephithin and we're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing Tribe 9. We're on episode 3 today. And man, oh man, episode 2 kind of picked up really, really greatly. Like the intensity kind of went from like here to like here within like five minutes of the of the episode for sure. Um, so last episode we, we learned the rules of extreme baseball. So we got a better idea of like how the actual game works and things like that. Um, we got to see some, some moves from Taiga and Haru and impressive from Haru kind of because he was able to kind of um, be able to uh, like like uh, match um, Kamiya's timing or whatever whenever he was pitching and Taiga wasn't even able to hit anything so we can kind of see like the personalities between both of them um, you see Tiger's a hothead who who has a lot of uh, confidence in himself and you know not necessarily is is bad at the game but doesn't really think too much about like strategy and things like that and then you have like Haru who's very timid and things like that but he, he, he uses his brain a lot more and then you have like Shun Kamiya who is like the the um the i guess the end result of of both of them kind of learning um their shortcomings or whatnot so it, it was really great to see that part of the episode for sure i was very interested to see um that other guy with like the mask and stuff like that what he was doing because it looked as though like he was challenging a bunch of extreme baseball teams other ones or leagues or tribes or whatever and he was kind of taking them out for good right because a lot of them look like they got their heads beaten in and some of them look like they were dead you know with like blood spilling out so it, it seems to be a little bit more um uh physical than i initially thought before and a lot more um extreme than i thought before yeah <laughs> anyway um we got into that and then we finally got to see him kind of meeting uh kami and all of them and it turns out that they're part of the atori royal family or something so that's going to be interesting to see so i can't wait to jump into that and we're going to get started with that don't forget to like share and subscribe as well turn on notifications down below it's critical to know when i upload next and then make sure you also check out the patreon you get full uncut reactions of this anime other animes movies tv shows whole bunch of other stuff check it out it's definitely worth it and it's definitely um affordable you know it's only about a dollar that i've added so it's definitely worth checking out and seeing for sure but with that note we're gonna get started with tribe nine episode three let's go <laughs> This guy got so scared all of a sudden. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> we should bow down to the Otori royal family. Oh my god. Oh, this guy's kind of crazy, man. He's like, yo, we, we the extreme baseball, as violent as it is, needs to be even more violent to the point where people die. That's that's great. <laughs> Yo, the Otori family has some crazy red eyes, man. Red eyes, black dragon! <laughs> Otori also has red eyes too, so is he like directly related to the, uh, the king here? Or whatever, or is he directly a part of the Otori family? Because it made it seem like he was um, just like a, a worker. Come on. 
That was interesting too. I wonder what he meant by that. Because I think he means that this is gonna be like a crazy battle that's gonna happen right now. He pitched so hard that the guy there died! What?! Oh my god! This is a legitimate reason to be scared, Haru. A very legitimate reason. <laughs> Imagine somebody gets hit on the head with that pitch by accident. Oh my god, because if that happens, they're dead. They, they have brain damage. Their head, their head is literally going to explode. Let's eat. Just seems like he's the powerhouse here, Lord Ojiro. Oh, and he also has one of those bats. A beam bat. I'm still trying to wonder how these how these people are like climbing buildings and stuff without any gear. Cause Haru just like scaled the building like it was nothing. <laughs> Haru took him out? Haru to oh my god, he's not gonna be happy about that. They seem like such pawns, I swear to god, like they have no personality, none of them. Mr. Lord Orgero is a one-man army, man. He wants to beat everybody on his own. <laughs> he took out this guy's mask! Yo, he took out his mask! Yo, that was impressive as shit! <laughs> Kangai I think I think Shun is actually mad at the fact that he got that he got taken out. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a sore loser. Kudara. <laughs> Yeah, now he doesn't have his mask anymore. He looks a lot more sinister for some reason. Now that we can see his facial expressions and stuff, like this guy looks like someone not to be messed with. So. 
XB は楽しくない楽しさなど狂わせってやつですかねおいおい勘弁してくれよ先に何がある全てだないねゼロだ Yo, this is a good battle right here, man. These two are like competing for everything right here. And look, he's wrong. He's like, yo, XB isn't about being the best, man. It's about having fun. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Shun got smashed. So she's trying, she's trying to deal with this. Oh no, might get really bad. I like that. I like that. I like that. Shun came in. And he's like, nah, this isn't, this isn't over yet, man. I got this. Punched him so hard. I, he made us spit out blood again. <laughs> God, it will change the XB world forever. Now that you have this psychopath coming in here and, and dictating a whole bunch of things. And this is only episode 3. And the Minato Chai is already facing one of their biggest uh, like challenges yet. Disbandment. <laughs> Yo. Are they gonna be able to be undisbanded? I guess you can say because like, how how what kind of conditions will there be to be able to like reverse that? Now, it's going to be very interesting to see where the show goes on from here because um, now that they're disbanded, it's just like I, I don't know how they're going to be able to, to get back together. So this guy essentially cheated and it was against the rules what he was doing. That's and look at him, look at him. He he himself is like shit. Like I got I got damaged man by those losers. <laughs> that definitely pissed him off. Man, I'm, I'm glad that they're concerned for their leader here because they're like, you're putting on too much, man. You got, you, you're getting hurt way too damn much. This, this is, this is shitty. Their whole tribe is like disbanded now and uh, looks as though things are not going to work out the way they're supposed to. <laughs> so that was Tribe 9 episode 3. Damn it. <laughs> that, that, that sucked. That sucked. I, ha I hated the fact that... I hated the fact that their tribe got disbanded, but at the same time, it was a good it was a good match. I liked it. I liked seeing that Lord Ordro guy, and I liked the I liked the fact that we got to see him without a mask. It was a good match. It, I thought that they would have gotten kind of like taken out a lot worse in in this sense, but it certain it seems as though you know things kind of worked out in, for the better for them for sure because um. They, like, Haru kind of handled his own much greater than I thought. Taiga didn't really do anything this episode, so it was whatever. Shun Kamiya was taking on this guy all on his own, and it was it was amazing seeing all of that. Like, that whole, that whole situation, that whole, that whole battle, the whole thing where they were kind of trading blows. That was great to see. I like that a lot. It makes me really super excited to see what's going forward with the show, just because of the fact that, um, now that they're able to... 
now that they have their tribes all together and their tribe kind of is disbanded right now i'm really interested to see like how, going forward how they get their tribe coming back or how it's going to be able to reform because it seems as though you have to follow the law of like whoever wins you have to follow what they say so essentially if he says your group is disbanded your group has to be disbanded which sucks but it, it, it is what it is honestly great episode can't wait to see what goes for, further with um ojiro and stuff like that or more more specifically what goes for further with tribe nine honestly because they themselves look like um the Minato tribe themselves look like they're they're kind of um, lost. You know what I mean. So we're definitely gonna see what happens next episode. And Shun is is in a mood where he where he hates us. He didn't wanna he didn't wanna have to be disbanded. He didn't wanna have to lose his his tribe, but he did. So that sucks. And now he has to kind of figure out what to do next. So we'll see what happens going forward into the next episode but yeah great great episode tribe 9 episode 3 um i think that's it for the video i will see you guys around thank you guys all for the support that you've been giving me it's been awesome and great been having a whole loads of uh fun doing these videos and yeah just gonna keep pushing out as much more content as i possibly can but without with that note though we're gonna say i bid you a farewell goodbye remember Never step on glass, it's pretty painful. <laughs> Bye.